For our company directory, press 7. Call centers, the automated menus. Press the star key. The long waits. Thank you for holding. The offshore phone banks. So... How's the weather in Bangladesh? Calling an 800 number is a soul-deadening descent into the seventh ring of customer service. Unfortunately, um, automated systems are not going away anytime soon. Call center consultant Mandy Harshman told me how to have better calls, and I found a few pointers myself. To hear the first tip, press one now. Prepare for the call. Sometimes we say the best call is not to have to call at all. Brands do their best to help online, but if you do have to call... They're trying to really integrate all their channels to pick up where you left off so that you don't have to repeat a lot of information. And that means quicker service. Other preparations, have your account number, your PIN, and know exactly what you want to accomplish on the call. Okay, moving on. Press 2. Nope, that's the five. There you go. Be nice. Seriously, I cannot exaggerate this point. Call center workers get screamed at by strangers all day. Stand out by being nice. Besides, it's faster. By keeping it factual, you're not going to waste time with them trying to go into hostility diffusion. The fact that hostility diffusion is a thing makes me even more hostile. Next up, time of day matters. The person who's been on the phones for 10 years and knows all the answers to all the questions is going to have tenure in that call center. Keeping in mind time zones, that means choosing the best hours. And the better shift is generally a daytime shift. Daytime reps are also more likely to be on site at the company. The chances of getting someone in an offshore location would be greater during the evening hours. And if you get a rep that you simply can't understand, be nice and ask for a supervisor. They're sometimes located onshore even after hours. Finally, use online cheat sheets. The similarly named websites and apps Get Human and Get To Human have crowdsourced the fastest way to get to an actual human being for a whole raft of companies. Sometimes it's hitting zero a bunch of times, and sometimes it's, and I'm not making this up, yelling at the robot voice. I hate robots! There's a lot of information for free, but they also offer paid services to make the calls for you. That's the 411 on call centers at the top of the list.